Here I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max that is not powering on. I can tell just looking at the inside, finding little shards of glass that the back glass has been replaced. A lot of the time when back glass breaks, issues arise with the logic board. Let's see if I can figure it out. And I'm gonna do so with this iShun P3208 smart power supply. Inside we've got our power cable, the power supply itself. Looks like I've got three packs of four in one cables with cables for the 12 series, the 10 through 11 Pro Max, the 14 series, the 13 series, and the seven and eight plus series, along with standard red and black cables and a grounding clip for the power supply. To keep this video short, I'm just going to show how to prep the 13 Pro Max flex cable, which is really straightforward. We'll open it up. Find our 13 Pro slash Pro Max flex cable. We'll grab one of the heat shrinks for it and a cable. All right, we'll get our flex cable. Add some solder to each one of the pads. Add some additional flux. And solder each onto its corresponding pad. R for red, B for blue, Y for yellow, G for green, and W for white. We'll clean it with some isopropyl alcohol, a brush, and a microfiber cloth. Add some UV solder mask. Spread it around. Now I'll cure it with the UV light. And we'll leave it under there for a few minutes. This will add some rigidity to those joints to make sure that it doesn't just like fold up on itself and cross lines down the, down the line. All right, now that it is cured, I'm gonna go ahead and slide over our heat shrink tubing and shrink it on there. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain And now I just need to do that with the other three In three, two, one And there we go We'll spin this around to the back Plug in our power cable Switch it on We've got a pair for the for iOS devices, a pair for Android. So here we're gonna take our cable and let's we'll plug it in to the iOS side and we'll get our phone. We'll disconnect the battery and the port. We'll get the cable that we just put together and we will connect up the port and the battery connector. And hold down the power button. We can see that it is trying to boot but it's not it's not nearly drawing enough amps to to actually get up there so there's a definitely an issue going on with this device let's see if we can isolate the issue so i've isolated the whole logic board which will kind of help us rule out if it's a component or not we'll go ahead and connect up our port and the battery all right and we automatically don't have any draw which is good. It means there's not a short on the main power rails. I'm going to go ahead and prompt this phone to boot. Hit the power button. And it's doing the exact same thing where it never really gets up above 0.1 amps. So definitely an issue with uh, with the logic board here. 
And from my experience, what we've seen here is telling me that there's going to be an issue with the CPU, most likely the connection from the CPU to the motherboard. So here I've got my 13 Pro Max plate. We'll insert the motherboard inside. I'll put one of the clamps here on the SIM card tray to kind of hold it in place. We'll turn on the heat, set the board to 200 degrees Celsius, and we'll let this heat up. Now, as long as I find that there aren't any pads that are pulled and I lift this up properly, I won't have to reball it because of this particular uh, platform. So it's gonna give us 120 seconds roughly to get this off before it automatically switches over to cooling down. So I'm gonna wait about half that time before kind of messing with the board too much. So probably in the next 20 to 30 seconds, I'm gonna lift it off. Right now I'm just gonna start poking the edges, seeing if we get any movement. All right, we're about halfway there before it's gonna start cooling down. And if I need to, it's easy to reset the timer. But I'm just gonna see if we can start separating the top board. just cool down and the trick that I found with this is I just put the fan right on top of that so that it cools down both the top and the bottom at the same time and lifting the top board I've been able to determine that there's nothing wrong with the bottom board there were a couple pads that were pulled um, on this side over here uh, which is which is kind of in the same area we're having issues, but those are all grounding pads, so they're so I've isolated them and they're not an issue per se. So my suspicions were true. It was definitely a CPU issue. After pulling up the CPU, I found all of these pads wanting to basically flake off. Some of them aren't important, but most of them are. What I suspect was happening was they were using a glass breaker like this one right here that provides a punch whenever you push down on it. And although it's completely safe and useful around the camera lenses, if you were to use this impact somewhere on top of the logic board and you were to do it repeatedly like you would do kind of around the camera lenses, you could easily cause this amount of carnage on the logic board. The CPU had a chance to kind of peel away like Kind of like if you were to take two Legos and kind of try to pry them apart, the corner lift up and it pulled all those pads, then you get no, no life out of the phone. If it was just one or two or even five pads, I would have just fixed it. But this, this is turning into a lot more than that. So not every repair is successful, but it still gives you a good idea of how useful this could be to inject power into a phone when working on it. And the fact that it comes with all of these cables, sure, you have to attach them yourself, but that gives you the ability to group them together in the way that you want to do it for your needs. There's a few things we can play around with. So this is pretty, pretty unique about how adjustable it is. We can switch between English and Chinese. We can take the sound and make it go on and off. Set the sleep for whatever time we want to, or it will go dormant after not being in use. We can adjust the direct current and we can restore all of the settings. We can watch it through a graph and just see it with the amperage dial. 